Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And I hear so many people, students, people on Facebook, my friends, my family, um, just so many people always bitching and crying about how they don't like their job or they're living paycheck to paycheck or they deserve that they should get more money or they have all these degrees and their job's not paying them more and just all this pity sadness and I'm not just buying it guys I think it's bullshit as crap and I'm gonna give you a couple of examples why I say that and I know I'm being very blunt but guys I'm gonna give you an example of my mom and dad the refugees from Iran they immigrated here because in Iran if you're not Muslim they're gonna kill you and my parents are Baha'i so they were being killed just like people in the Holocaust in uh, Germany back in Nazi days so to make the story short, they had to flee, leave their country in the middle of the night and escape, come to America. I'm not talking about all the hardship that had to go from getting there to getting here. It took, took us about three and a half years to get here. But they come here. They don't know anybody. Both of my mom and dad don't speak English. They don't have any credit. They don't have any money. My mom and my dad both don't have high school education. My mom is 100% illiterate. When I mean illiterate, I mean that she can't even read hello or yes. She can't read, guys. And my dad taught himself how to read when he got to America. So for them to come here as refugees, being on food stamp, they did whatever the fuck was required. Work seven days a week. They give it the best they had. They were very fucking happy about it. And what my dad did is he came to America. He starts selling ice cream in an ice cream truck. And if you guys know about Texas, dude, in the summertime, it's like 100 degrees out there. In his truck, it's probably 115 degrees. And he did that seven days a week, year after year. And he worked, and he saved his fucking money, and he worked, and he saved his money. He didn't go on vacations. He didn't do all this cool shit everybody else did. And after him being able to save his money, he was able to open his own business. Uh, a pizza place and after years of hard work now he has a pretty decent life I mean he lives in a nice part of town called Valley Ranch he has a great beautiful home he's driven multiple nice cars from BMW top of the line cars you know he buys himself a car every few years um, he has great furniture and just a great life you know uh, and they came here with nothing nothing okay so when I hear for example a high school friend of mine bitching about his stupid ass job and he doesn't like it and he hates to drive there or he feels like his job should give him more money or another friend that started business and quit and they're calling me and bitching about me deep inside of me I just want to tell you fuck you dude you're just a fucking little bitch but normally I don't say that because the truth is if a refugee can come to America doesn't speak the language or do willing to do whatever the fuck is required then you and I should be able to do the same thing. Now, a lot of people say, Mike, well, I don't have money. Mike, I don't have money. I don't have credit. Nobody's going to give me money. My mom's not going to give me money. My, my sister's not going to give me money. The bankers not going to give me money. The, the hard money lenders not going to give me money, whatever the story is. And I'm going to give you an example where in my own personal life, when I was right out of college, living in my car, I only had 100 bucks. And I want to give you exactly what I used, which is my imagination, my burning desire, my hard work to make money. So I was living in my car. I didn't have any money to print any kind of flyers, anything like this. So what I would do is I would go to the apartment communities where I live and I would go into their office centers because a lot of these apartments have office centers, they have a computer, they have a printer. And what I would do is I would use their computer because I didn't even have a computer. Use their computer, I would use their ink, I would use their paper, and I would print out flyers. And I would, you know, in every apartment complex, they may have like a hundred sheets of paper. So I would go to 10, 20 different apartment complexes, use their printer, use their paperwork, go to a library, use their printer, use their paperwork. At that time, libraries didn't charge like they do right now, 10 cents per sheet or whatever. And what I would do is then cut these little papers up, go and put it in all the apartment complexes, and wait for people to call me for me to sell them personal training. Because when I got out of college, that was the business I'm, I'm in. So I didn't have any money to print paperwork. I didn't, I wasn't a, 
IT guy. I didn't know how to design a flyer, but I didn't really care. I knew the importance of taking massive action. And the first flyer I made was look like piece of shit, guys. And once I did one or two transactions, I instantly knew the importance of image. So I paid that IT guy to make a better this flyer design. And so what I'm saying is, you don't need any money, you don't need any credit. That's what people tell you you need. The bankers tell you that. All those fools that never chased their fucking dreams. All those guys that had a dream and, and they decided they didn't want to go after it because it's too fucking hard or somebody else burst their bubble. Those are the same fools they are telling you you can't chase your dreams. Now, when I say fools, I don't mean I disrespect. I love everybody, guys. I have love for everybody. And a fool can be your friend. It can be your family. It can be your spouse. It can be your parents. It can be your partner. Anybody that has given up, they're just laying back on their dreams. You know, I believe that we all have a purpose in life. Somebody's meant to cure X. Somebody's meant to discover Z. Somebody's supposed to be an entrepreneur. Somebody's supposed to be the best teacher. Somebody's supposed to be the best police officer. I believe we all have a purpose in life. And I believe that if we don't go out there, chase our dreams, we can't contribute to mankind. We can't contribute to earth. And when you go out there and you work on and improving yourself, when you go out there and try to harvest more than what you need, then you're going to have the freedom to help your neighbors. Then you're going to have the opportunity where you're not worrying about the money. You're not worrying about the cheese. You, you don't just need to work.